Hey, hey, everybody, Bithor here, and we are back with a... N well, actually, no, this is a new series that I actually mentioned in my previous uh, episode of A For Honor. Now, as you can see, I've kind of started on what looks to be the foundation of a castle, and that is exactly what it is. Um, however, I'm not going to be doing this alone. I am uh, joined here with uh, Matt707Live. Say hello. hello. Awesome. Hello. Awesome. Um, so let me go ahead and give you all a little bit of a walkthrough as to what we're doing here um, before we really get started. Uh, basically, a, f a couple episodes ago in our Minecraft Let's Play, I said I was going to build a castle in our survival world, and whenever I ended that episode, I started a new world on uh, Creative for our same seed. Uh, most of you already know this and have seen that, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, say it again for the new viewers. Um, now, I started building the castle I said we were going to do, and when I did, not only did I realize how long it was going to take and how difficult it was going to be, but how many materials that it would require. And it just wasn't going to happen in survival. So what I did was I made an entirely new world, and I decided to go ahead and uh, fi try and find a decent location for a new castle. And that's exactly what I've done here. Um, this is like the perfect location to build an accurate castle, and that's exactly what we're doing here. We're going to be doing a historically accurate castle um, in kind of a Norman style, which I think will be really, really cool. Um, now, I believe, Matt, you had some questions for me, uh, possibly? Yeah, so just um, wondering, like, what kind of time period it's based on? Um, well, really, the the time of Norman castles was from, like, the year 1000 to, like, 1300, and really, really before 1000, but in terms of, like, stone ones, to my knowledge, they're from, like, 1000 to 1300 uh, time period. Um, these okay. will have... And this one in particular is based off of a Norman keep, which is the larger 29 by 29 square that you can make out almost in uh, the major floor plan area. And it's going to have some more modern battlements from like the 14th and 15th century, like uh, matriculations. Okay. And um, we're going to try and keep this as historically accurate as possible, right? Yeah. Got... Yeah. I know you've already told me, but you've got some pretty cool plans up your sleeve for some of these rooms, so right. it's really exciting. Right, and um, like the highest point on most keeps was usually only around 60 to 75 feet tall, and um, that's about what will be for the actual Norman keep, which is fairly accurate. Most walls were only around 20 feet tall, so they're going to be around 10 blocks tall, um, which is... or not 20 feet, 30 feet, I'm sorry. Um, and they were usually fairly wide, like this. Um, most of the time, they were filled in and actually 100% solid. But for the sake of time, we're going to leave them hollow. We're just going to pretend they're filled in. Um, yeah. So, you know. It's going to end up being quite a considerable size. And right yes. now, you've put yes. in the foundations. But once everything's built up, it's going to be... Right. Um, I want to go ahead and point out that uh, this here, these are basically markers for where drawbridges will be. There's going to be a draw. There's going to be two drawbridges. One at the main, uh, or one at the secondary gatehouse, which is what this will become, and then one at the primary gatehouse, which is what this is, or what this yeah. will become. This will be a standalone, stationary bridge. Um, of course, it'll have supports. It's not going to be just floating in the air. Um, and then, over here in the video, you can see that um, I have a small square right here. Um, that's going to be farmland. And then right over here in this general area, I'm thinking there's going to be a stables and a blacksmith, um, some things like that. Now, I want to take you all through the moat at the moment. Right now, it is not filled in with water. Um, most of the time, whenever there was a moat, well, first of all, they weren't usually this deep. The only reason this one works so well is because the castle just so happens to sit upon a plateau. And I can guarantee you, if there ever was a castle like this, it or in an area like this, it was definitely right here. Um, and contrary to popular belief, most castles were actually made out of wood. Um, and 
materials of the sort, which is why most of the time, pretty much 90% of the castles uh, from the medieval age are gone. They just don't exist anymore. Um, now, this moat will be uh, filled with water a little bit, um, and I can, I can kind of uh, take y'all to the area where that will be, so I can show you the height of how high this water will be. And right there, we have a grass pillar, uh, kind of a line. That's going to be the water line right there. Um, what I plan to do is make a couple of makeshift dams here and let them leak out so that they flow out into those rivers right there and into the ocean. Um, just over here, probably somewhere around there in those in those small area of trees, I plan to uh, make like a spring so that we can have a waterfall falling down into the moat. That way there's like a source of water. That way it looks as realistic as possible rather than just having it filled with water and then it even draining. Because if we have it filled with water and draining, eventually it's gonna stop draining. Um, so I feel like it would be best if we had like a spring of some type if we were gonna make it drain. Um, but without further ado, uh, let's go ahead and start the build. Uh, this is gonna be a time-lapse series and I hope you all enjoy Thank you. 